Hello there everyone, this is the Alien Commands part 2 of uh, the 3DX450B install and what we've done last time we connected the CL1 unit the Alien Command, uh, we, we plugged in the receiver with all the relevant channels and we plugged the ESC in ready to uh, install and the first thing you want to do before you fire up the system uh, get your transmitter, obviously this is the Futaba 6EX so I'm going to turn that on and basically what we're going to do is we're going to go into the menu and go to the reverse menu uh, channel 1, uh, we're going to reverse that uh, channel 2, we're going to reverse that too and channel 6, we're going to reverse that which is the uh, aileron, elevator and pitch channel all them are going to be reversed also what we want to do is we're going to go into our swash menu so we'll go over to our swash uh, basically, you want to set that to 90 degree swash, which is 1S. Normally, when you set it up through your, um, your, through your transmitter, it's either 3E, so you can set your L on elevator and pitch. So, we don't want to know about that, so we want to set that to 1S or 1.5 or whatever you want to do. So, basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to fire up the system and uh, uh, show you what we need to do. But before we fire up the system, some of you might actually overlook, uh, uh, basically. So what we want to do is we want to go into normal uh, throttle, normal pitch curve, and basically we want to set stick position one is fifty is fifty percent, which on my helicopter is uh, zero pitch. But we want to go right the way down to zero. Uh, number two. We'll set that at 25. Pitch precision 3. We'll set that center stick, which is 50. 75. 100. Now make sure, obviously, that you're in normal mode. So we'll get out of that there. And what we'll do is we're just going to fire up the helicopter. So we're just going to fire up the helicopter now. So obviously making sure that the motor is disconnected. Like so. And obviously you can see that the swash, the first thing the swash wants to do is go to the bottom. So if I move my collective, as you can see, that's all moving in the same direction. Forward, back, moving in the same direction. Right left, that's moving in the same direction uh, most times, sometimes you have to change your um, aileron on the computer so what we do now first thing you want to do is connect to mixer reading mixer, mixer ok and we want to go up, the first thing you normally want to do is reverse the aileron channel Revert uh, these two here. Sometimes you need to do that. And the first thing we need to do at the moment, we're not going to worry about the collective, the up and down, uh, to change the pitch. First thing we're going to do is the throws forward, back, left, right. Because obviously you can see it's a bit more. I need a bit more movement than that. And uh, so we're going to go to the computer. And the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the aileron. So we're going to crank the aileron up to 60%, left and right. So there we go, I'm going to change the aileron channel 60% left and right. So we know if we go back to the helicopter, we got left and right, forward, back. So now what we want to do, we want more elevator on the back. So we're going to crank that one up to 40%, and we're going to crank up the right servo to 40%. And we're going to also crank up the front elevator to 70%. So, forward, back, left, right. So that's uh, basically the uh, the setup guide for part two. Uh, also, what you want to do now is uh, I'll be doing a part two of this part two, uh, showing you how to do your collective. Uh, change on your helicopter so I'm going to do it all in stages so you won't go wrong so thanks for watching this video and look at part two part there and then we'll do part three which is the infrared so thanks for watching this video 
and goodbye.